<laughs> we checking in. We got off the bus and we took a taxi. And oh, how long was the bus ride? It was like almost six hours, so it was fun. It was fine. We it thought was, it was four, it was six, yeah. but it's fine. But, sorry. Um, we got off the bus and it was raining, and then we took a taxi and we're here, but now the person who's supposed to come get us isn't coming, and I'm cold, and so now I look like a boy. Yeah, so we're just waiting here because we're sp we clicked like the number thing here, but I guess it's broken or something, so nobody's showing up. So we've been waiting in the rain. So that's that's what's going on. So we got in our apartment now, Actually, and story, right, after, right after we filmed video, it. We but and then we had to go up like three flights of stairs with our suitcase, which was not good. But the apartment is really nice, so I'll give a quick tour of it. So when you walk in. This is what you see. There's just a couch and then the kitchen area, which has a washer in the kitchen. I know, I so it was the, the dishwasher at first, and then I was like, oh. And oh, no. this oh. is our view of Rome in the kitchen. Then down the hallway, you have the bathroom. And then we have two bedrooms. So this is mom and dad's bedroom and then this is me and Catherine's bedroom and then here is our view look at that so we are at dinner now it just started like pouring again but we got this how do you guys feel about our first dinner? She already drank some of it. it filled up that much. <laughs> hey guys, today is November 6th. Let me give a shout out to my lovely, wonderful, amazing sister Michelle Chambers. I love you. Happy birthday. That was great. I love that. Okay, anyway, <laughs> today we are going to walk and explore the city. We're going to see the Colosseum. What else? Uh, the Forum. And, and the Trevi Fountain. The Trevi Fountain. Fountain, so it's gonna be a good day. Also, I forgot to say, I went to bed at 8 and I woke up at 10, so I literally slept 14 hours, so I'm ready to go. And also, last night we went for a little walk to go find something to eat before we all crashed because we were like dying. And on the way, there was this pyramid, and we didn't really know much about the pyramid or even like if it was really like a legit old thing. Like, why was there? It was just like in the middle of like the city, it was weird. Yeah, you just don't hear about it here in Rome, I guess there's just so many amazing things. But come to find out, that thing was built in 12 BC before Christ. Like, that's crazy. Yes, and so we're surrounded. By <laughs> yeah, we're surrounded by such yeah. history, and like we don't even know about a lot of it because like, they just don't talk about it because there's so much. And that's at the end of our block, like we're right. Yeah, out. like literally right out the window. So, so this is the wall, and then that is the pyramid we were talking about. Hello, welcome to Rome. This is walking distance to where we live and it's so exciting because last night we saw that pyramid and we thought it was kind of a marketing stunt but no, we read today that is the pyramid of, oh my gosh, I don't remember the name but it was built 12 BC. That's so crazy, it's right there. And then this wall was incorporated maybe a few centuries after but they incorporated the pyramid within the wall so then they use less material to build a wall and so on so but that's a long time that's ago. That's so cool. We are at lunch now and it is this cute place so you write down what you want and it's like sandwiches and so we got veggie sandwiches oh, and, and he got hot. salami and then this is what it looks like and look at this this is a car and then full of bread like this place is amazing yeah they had choices for vegetarians look at this
Hong Seung. The Gladiator. My, yeah, Gladiator is one of my favorite movies, and as I'm explaining, so as you see here, the floor. Mm -hmm. So there was the floor there, so but underground. So it was flat right here, yeah, and this is showing the underground. Gladiators were, you know, large, I guess, and, and animals to, to fight and so on. And sometimes they had secret doors that will enter the, the Colosseum to, to fight what they had. And this could hold about 50,000 people. It's like a stadium to go see football or baseball, but it was for <laughs> combat to the death, which was an honor to die. And the senator, that white little thing here, mm -hmm. that's where the senators and the emperor were to watch to the watch. games. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it's so interesting to... Yeah, to so it's really interesting here. to see like the little hallways down here, which you wouldn't have normally seen because this was all flat. <laughs> so these are columns, both of these, that used to be right here, and as you can see, all of them have fallen. So there, yeah, see, this, there's one laying right there. They're just laying around because they all fell. Interesting. There's just this one piece of the ground that you can't walk on. Interesting. This shows how the floor would have been right here. Tell us how you feel. <laughs> I was just saying that it's really crazy and it's because like you see like all of the pictures and so you have something in your mind of like what it'll look like and now it's like we're actually here which is just unbelievable and it's nothing like what I pictured. No, this is not what I thought like it would we look like. Saying, like we kind of thought it would be taller like like for me it's like the right circle circumference <laughs> yeah. but it's but, not like yeah we thought it would it's really not that tall know, but then when you like look at the people I'm like okay well that's actually like yeah I don't know, know it's so weird like looking at the size of the people versus like the actual thing it would be a good picture bye Coliseum now we're going to see the forum over here <laughs>
want to tell us about it? Well, <laughs> he doesn't know much. I need to bring up my history about <laughs> what it's mean, but I think Honestly, it was made <laughs> by Augustus uh, in the early days, and uh, we're gonna go explore more. Yeah. So the hole in the dome of this is obviously open and so this is blocked off because there's two holes in there which all the water from the rain drains into. It says there's 22 small holes. There's 22 yeah. small holes? No, really? Just 22. Oh, I have no idea. I know there's two yeah. holes right in there. That might be one. We found four of the holes of the 22, and so we're guessing they're all around the church, because when this rains... <laughs> How was it? Totally what did you go see? It was a really big ice cream cone. It was <laughs> gigantic. <laughs> we made her go see, she ran to go see the lady. <laughs> so we are on a train now. You want to show Daniel? It's November 7th, it's November 7th, and we are going to Vatican City to see the Sistine Chapel and all that. But basically, we went to the train station and we got our tickets and everything, and we got on the train. And then we thought that the validation thing would be inside the train because that's how they usually are in like the trams and buses, and metro, stuff. and everything. And it wasn't, so we were like, we don't know what to do. Like, do we stay on here and like risk it or like? run off and so we decided to run off and literally <laughs> we had to go down the escalator validate all of our tickets and then we ran back up and the second we got on the door started closing like my mom yeah, was we, the we last one we could have just opened in. it back up like they were just like automatically closing okay. it wasn't like for yeah, yeah, yeah but like still so we were yeah. yeah we didn't know that. we were like oh my god <laughs> and so we're safe now we got like two stops i think and then we have to walk a little bit and then we'll be there
I'm just gonna, gonna give a quick recap of what we did today. So basically, at the beginning, you saw that we went into St. Peter's Basilica, and it was free, but the line was so long because you had to go through security and everything. So that took a while, and then we walked to the Sistine Chapel, which you get like the museum with it. And so we went through the museum, and it's it took, overwhelming. It was a lot. There's, there's a lot. Of, oh, the food is here. The food is here. <laughs> So it was a lot, and then we finally got to the Sistine Chapel, and honestly, it was a lot smaller and like than I thought, and it wasn't like very bright or anything. So it was. Mom is taking us all, <laughs> but um, it was still really like amazing to see and like. It's impressive and overwhelming because there's so many rooms with different painting stats, on the ceilings paintings, and statues. statues. Things from Egypt from uh, I don't know two three thousand years BC. So then you get so, to the Sistine Chapel and it's like we've already seen so many rooms yeah. like that that it's I feel like it really like makes the room less than it really is. But, but it's still it was still it just wasn't what I expected. It wasn't what I expected. It was smaller. It was packed with people. It's I mean yeah. It was still so beautiful yeah. though and like amazing to see all the artwork and stuff. But then we were walking around. We were super hungry and tired and we. Been walking around to find a restaurant, and now we're here and we're well, sharing. And, and look, share through the wall. Oh yeah, you know? the wall is right and here. This is the Sistine Chapel in the Vatican City, right there. But we got some margarita pizza oh, so and good. pasta to share. Oh, It was a great day. We, after dinner, lunch, whatever that was, we just went back to the train station to come back home. We walked like seven and a half miles today. Oh my. Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. But on the way back, we got some dinner. So, more pizza because when in Rome, right? Yeah, eat pizza. Uh, right? And he's look at his wine glass. This is how you know you're in Italy. Look at this. Viva vino, eh, Hi, today is November. I think eight. I think maybe. Eight. Eight. I don't know. I'll you know, I'll write it here. Yeah, but yep, November eighth. But today is our last day in Rome, Which and... Which we didn't know, by the way. Like, yeah. We thought we had tomorrow, too, but we're leaving tomorrow, so it's kind of... But it's okay. Today we are on our way. We're walking. We went on a tram, and now we're going to meet one of my mom's friends to get lunch. And then we have a couple more things we want to see today before we leave. And But our main... What's our main goal? Gelato. We got to get gelato. We haven't gotten gelato yet. I don't know why. Yeah, I don't know how. Know. But it's going to happen. <laughs> Chocolate 
And then, oh okay. my gosh. Ba Bailey's. It looks so Favor Bailey's. Is that like whiskey? Witchy Irish cream. Uh huh. And uh, chocolate, uh, vanilla cream. Uh huh. And whiskey. <laughs> and he, she got the same, and then, and then we got this. Oh, and then no. she I got, got the vanilla, vanilla and, and then Oreo. Oreo. Yum. So basically, what you have to do at this place, it is so popular. So there's so it's many really people. Packed. So you just go up to like the cash register in the line, say what you want, you pay for it, and then you go to like the ice cream place, which has so many flavors. And the reason we came here is because in summer they have a champagne flavor, which my mom really wanted, but we didn't know it was only in summer. But I mean, there's so many other choices. Like it was so hard to pick, and they put so Especially much with, like, in everyone it. like there. Like there's look at the like chocolate fudge. Like it's all melting. I have to. And vanilla so and Bailey's Irish cream. Milk. Yeah, that's what he explained. And I got mint, and it tastes like exactly like mint. It's so good. So a plush. We are looking at what they have this? on the menu. Okay, literally, what how does that, that fit in the cup? The cup rim is right down there. Okay, how? This is... That's impossible. That would like break and fall. Makes me do just because she thinks it looks good. Okay. <laughs> You're not to say that. Okay, keep going. Okay, so we are at GLET. Right? Okay, so if you're ever here, they have really good ice cream. And also, look in the mirror. Oh, okay. <laughs> and also, we're taking a spoon for our peanut butter. the Spanish steps, famous Spanish steps that basically connects the street here to the church that is there instead of climbing a hill. A hill. So they have that. So that was built in the 16, 1700. And the French were involved on this. So there's uh, something with the Fleur de Lis, but there was uh, an issue with the, with the Pope. And then they finally the Pope decided to utilize uh, Italian architects to the yeah, so as you can see, there's a lot of people here. They're really, really famous steps. Like, I knew about them, but this is, and this is also like a huge shopping center here. So they have like a lot of really popular stores, expensive stores around here. So I guess it's like a really big place for tourists. Yeah. At least some of the stores that are around here were like on the way here that we saw. Um, I don't really remember. Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Gucci, there's Prada, Prada right there. Sephora. Um, I forget all the like uh, really expensive. Uh, Santiago or something. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, yeah, know, I don't know. But a lot of really freaking expensive stores. So, but look at this. Fit in. <laughs> no, yeah, we're not fitting in, but it's okay. It's so pretty. And we're like basically at the top. They're still up there, but. Speak for yourself, my feet hurt. And um, so we my feet hurt. Complaining. Yeah. So we walked a while to get to a the way metro. to go home. Yeah, we chose the metro. So we didn't want to do a taxi because we thought it would be too expensive. Oh, expensive. almost five miles. Oh nice. Five miles today. Yeah. Um but we long. were at the other side and we were trying to put money in. Even it said it took that like that the cash, the cash but then it wouldn't take cash. So we went up and tried to buy postcards out of place. Because we needed that anyway. But then he was like not wanting us to give change because we had only had like 20 euro bill, but we needed like euro change. Euro euro about to die. But yeah, moral of the story, we got postcards from a different place after we had to walk a little, and then we came on the side, and another machine didn't work, but then another one did work after the fourth machine, and we are going home. We are at the sandwich place we came to the first day we were here for dinner, and I got the same one, which I don't think I explained what I got last time. He got a spicy salami one. But what I got was warm mozzarella broccoli. But it says bloody. Anyway, sun dried tomatoes, roasted eggplant, olive spread, and spicy olive oil, and it is so good. So. Hey guys, it is. November 9th, uh, and today we just woke up this morning. Don't do that. And, <laughs> and we like took some showers. 
and then the after that we are just getting ready to go now Give me uh, so there's my suitcase and that's all, so I will check in with you guys You literally gave me no information. <laughs> Give it to me. Hey guys, it's November 9th. Is it 9th? Yeah. Okay. It is November 9th, and today we are traveling to Venice, Venice. which Venice. is really exciting, but it's going to be very different because we're staying with a host, host family. family. Um, but... It's really nice because my feet hurt really bad and I think all of our feet hurt really bad and so we have like a seven hour bus ride today. Stop it. Oh yeah, we got, got some child. good movies, good TV Good shows. movies, yeah. And so we get a day of rest for our feet since we've been walking like five to seven miles every day. Yeah. So that's gonna be nice. Yeah. So we were supposed to like meet. You know him, right? Like it's so. Yeah, he's yeah, like, yeah, so he's from Up with People. He's an alumni that lives here. And he's really well connected to a lot of people and he's really involved in so much here. And he had just messaged me and said he had a private underground tour of the Coliseum planned for us. And we didn't we didn't we, contact him because I saw he was in London, but he got back Wednesday night and he didn't know when we were arriving. So he had it all planned for us and we missed it because we were That leaving. sucks so much. And so it really And he's suck. like but he's he like a, is connected. Yeah, like, like he's he was, a tour guide for the Coliseum or whatever, right? Yeah, so here's a picture of him with the Pope. Yeah, so he's so met, he met right the there. Pope. And then if that doesn't wow you enough. Here's a picture of him with Obama recently. He literally gave a tour to Obama. <laughs> and and not only that, then Michelle came back with their daughters, I'm guessing yeah, was it the daughters. Right, yeah. And they brought his granddaughter's presents. His nieces. Oh, his oh, nieces yeah, sorry. Obama brought Because they the remembered nieces. that he had two nieces that he loved dearly, and so they brought him gifts. Yeah, so when Michelle came back, um, Obama made sure that he was the tour guide for them. I'm like, that is so cool. I'm so sad y'all didn't get to meet him. And I would love to have seen the underground of the Coliseum. I would ask him, I would just ask him about Obama the whole time. Yeah, same. I'd be like, Obama. <laughs> That's so cool. Look at this picture of him when he was in London a few Aww. days ago with all of these international. He's just super oh, connected. <laughs> now, um, the taxi was kind of expensive this morning because he took us wrong took us a bunch of ways just so we'd have to pay for it. but we're here we're on the bus we, we got sandwiches which cat says is really soggy so yeah and then we have downloaded stuff so seven hours ahead of us hey guys it is 5 35 no, I think it and we just got back on the bus. We've been, we just had like a 25 minute break. And so we got some coffee. Which I need to drink. <laughs> I need to drink but we were in there for a while. Yeah, and then, is that all? Yeah, we arrived in a few hours. We were, like going on Pinterest because they have Wi Fi on the bus mm -hmm. and looking at Christmas stuff and listening to Christmas music. And we walked outside and it was finally cold for the first time. Forever. In a and then I had my coffee and everything. And it was just so great to see. It's exciting. But I don't know how much longer we have. But it's, I think, like two hours or something. Maybe less. I don't know. Who knows? But yeah, so we're just eating and chilling and that's how it's. <laughs> 